Hi, my name is Garak and I'm here with Zero G to give you a quick getting started video with using contact files instruments. Contact files are different from contact libraries in that you don't need native access to install them and you don't need a serial code to activate them. Once the files are on your desktop or they're in your external hard drive, they are ready to use with the full version of contact five. Now I've got contact five open right now and we're currently in the libraries tab. Uh, as we can see, all of my installed libraries here, including Phaedra. Um, and that's all great, but I'm looking to install Ethra Soundscapes 2.0, uh, which is a contact files instrument. Now I can't install Ethra Soundscapes 2.0 here. Uh, and if I click manage libraries, all it will do is open native access and ask me to enter a serial code, uh, which I don't have. So what we need to do to install Ethra Soundscapes 2.0 is click over to the files tab. Now here we will see workspace, which is my computer and inside all the associated hard drives. Now I've downloaded Ethra Soundscapes 2.0 to the sound storage external hard drive. So we're going to open that and I've saved it inside contact instruments. Obviously your copy will be wherever you've downloaded it to through the connect app. I'm now going to click on Zero G Ethra Soundscapes. And as we can see, there are several folders inside. Uh, Ethra Soundscapes comes with three uh, different instruments and libraries, uh, one for ambience, one for synths, and one for vocals. Uh, we're going to install the synths library uh, right now. So we're going to click on uh, Soundscapes Synths. And as we can see, there is a synths instruments folder. That's what we're interested in. So we can double click that, go to 2.0, and we've got the three NKI files here. Here, we can just drag and drop into contact five. And there we go, ready to go. Alternatively, if we close that down, you can always double click. But opening your contact files instruments this way can take a lot of time and frankly, it can disrupt the creative process somewhat. So what contact has is a great feature called the quick load function. Uh, so we're going to close this down. We're going to collapse these files back to workspace. And now we're going to go over to the layouts tab, which is this one right here. We go click. And as you can see at the bottom is quick load. Uh, so you can either click that or you can use command F to open up quick load down the bottom. Now, as you can see, I've already loaded in the Ethra soundscapes synth instruments. What we're going to do now is install the ambiences. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the workspace, go to my sound storage, open up contact instruments, zero G Ethra soundscapes 2.0. Uh, I'm then going to click on, I'm going to double click into ambience. I'm going to drag the ambience instruments folders into that quick load and it'll appear there. From there, I can just go through the folders and drag and drop or double click into contact five. Now that's all well and good, but there are other ways to open up your quick load folders. Uh, so let's just collapse the quick load browser and close that. What you can do is go to the uh, floppy disk icon or the save icon in the top uh, and go to new instrument from this list. This will open up all of your quick loaded uh, contact files instruments. And I can go down to ambience through the drop down menus and load up Ethra Ambience 2.0. And there we go. Alternatively, if you want to replace your current uh, contact instrument with a different patch, you just need to click the drop down menu there. Go to synth instruments, say, follow the drop down menus and it will replace it for you. If you're ever looking to delete contact files instruments from your quick load, it's really simple. Just open up the quick load browser again using command F or the uh, drop down menu in the browser tab and right click on the uh, folder you want to delete. I don't want uh, the ambience instruments for Ethra anymore. Uh, so I'm going to delete that from quick load. Simple as that and it's just gone. If you found this video helpful, remember to give us a like. If you have any questions about what I've done, leave them in the comments.
down below and remember to subscribe to the channel we're going to be doing way more tips and tricks tutorials walkthroughs and demos in the near future thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video